Let's talk a little bit about the trim on these mud motors. We've already established that when, when you hit something, the motor kicks up freely. But there's a trim unit on here, and if you can bear with me on this wind, that sound may be familiar to you because it's a mercury-built trim. It's the same trim unit that's used on their 90 and 115 uh, motors. It's uh, 8,300 pounds is what it's rated for. Of course, this motor weighs nowhere close to that. So it's, again, over-engineered, over-built to take the abuse that they know you're going to, to deal with that on, on a mud motor. The reason for the trim is so that you can adjust the motor, just like an outboard motor, as you trim it down to take off and trim it up to get top speed. Very, very similar with this as well. If you're not familiar with a mud motor, where you get your power, where you get your four-wheel drive from is when you trim that prop low. When that prop gets buried underneath the mud and underneath the water so that every time the propeller turns, it catches 100% mud or 100% air. So you want to be able to trim that motor all the way down so it won't cavitate. And let me show you how low this thing will go. It comes standard now with a 33 inch drive. So that's got a long drive for you to get that motor buried down deep and down low so that whenever you're stuck or you have resistance, that motor can get a full ump. The water is way up here, so it's not introducing any air to the propeller. It's all mud, all water, whatever you happen to be in, it gives you a good grab. If you have to trim it, if you have to trim it up to work on the lower unit, get a crab trap out, go over a stump or a log, anything like that. That motor trim up and get completely out of the way of anything that you have down there in, in, in the surface that's blocking you. So it's got a, one of the longest ups and downs on any of the mud motors that I've ever seen, coupled with a standard long drive. It does come in a 27 inch drive as well. You can special order it that way with a rock guard on it. And that would be for running out west or running it in, really not just out west, any sandy bottoms, rocky rivers that you're not going to be digging down into the mud. There is also a shorter drive with a rock guard that comes for you guys in those applications. But anytime you're in mud or soft bottoms, this longer drive gets that prop down below that water or mud level so it gets a good bite. And that, that's great to have, but if you can't trim it down low enough to get it below there, it's useless to you. So this motor has both of those attributes 